Welcome to I Saw This on the Internet. The last episode you saw with this group, we had a very interesting debate about SNL versus uh, In Living Color. Mel would like to debate some more. We was talking about Jamie Foxx versus Eddie Fun. Murphy, who's more talented, and all this and that. <laughs> so Mel said, I want to talk about Martin Lawrence and Will Smith. They're not going to win, but I will say, had Martin kept on his trajectory from the 90s, I have a theory that when he had that little psychotic break, he was lobotomized, and he has not been the same since. Think about oh, it. Oh, shit. Illuminati. Am nah, I, I think he broke. Uh, it's a clone. Something. I think so. For he has first, not been the same since then. Y'all got to remember, he had Boulevard. a stroke. Yeah, he did. He did. That changes a lot. Of he was, it was a stroke. Yeah, he had a heat stroke. Cause he had that body bag on. Yeah. I mm. want to talk about first. We need to debate. He ain't been the same. No, no. We needed to debate Martin like Show versus the Fresh Prince. So that's Fresh what Prince I really Show. want to start with. And I think usually on this debate, uh -huh. people fall into the. I made it made me laugh more if they choose Martin. Absolutely. And it's a better show, and and it has more replay value. For the Fresh Prince. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So which says you? We'll start with you, Mel, since you started. Which side of the fence are you on for, for the show? And for whatever reasons you decide. Fresh Prince. Really? After all that? After all that, I am a Fresh Prince person <laughs> as far as... She brought up Martin. I did. I did bring up Martin. <laughs> I was bringing up Martin Lawrence. Not Martin. I was bringing up not Martin Payne. Oh, okay, got it. So for Fresh Prince, I think all around, it was, a like you said, a better show. It had more range. Mm -hmm. Martin show was just we laughing, we niggas, we got some colorist jokes. We talking about <laughs> Big Shirley, we talking about bro man. It's funny. We're having a great time. Yeah. Fresh Prince, it's funny. I was watching Fresh Prince the other day. Mm -hmm. That shit is still it holds fucking, up well. It holds, it holds up for sure. Even the more well. so does Martin for it's different still, reasons. Yeah, yeah. Martin the funny not parts hold of up. Martin is uh, funny still. It's funny. The episode reasoning. It's still yeah. like <laughs> Fresh Prince. You'll laugh. You'll cry. You getting? We're learning That's about true. drugs. We're, um, we got shot. We're tears. They drinking. got three good episodes me, of that stuff. Maybe five. And people point them same episodes out because Martin has but zero. It's right, zero. Against zero? They're yeah. doing great. But it's but funny I think because Martin was on Fox and Fresh Prince was on NBC. NBC. NBC, mm. NBC, is, NBC is it was, And Fox was NBC. like, we're edgy. We're letting the blacks yeah. do what they want to do. That was their thing. And Fresh Prince was like, <laughs> strong black Republican family. <laughs> Republicans? <laughs> Republican family. <laughs> and then it was like, I mean, they both had great guest stars. Everybody was on both shows. But I, it's Fresh Prince was just, I personally am more leaning to, even though I was born during Martin, it was something about Fresh Prince. I feel like even to this day, it's just like a bad okay. show. Jason? I, I agree with everything you said as far as like better show, but I'll I'll take Martin. Martin just... Like Dragonfly Jones oh and Jerome God. and all the characters. And they were so different. Uh, they honestly shouldn't be compared, but we're going to do it anyway. Yeah. Dragonfly Jones. Dragonfly Jones. When, yeah. when, they, when he fought Kenji in the living room of Gina's apartment oh my and the cast was over there, oh. dude, and he was... It just, and they were just laughing and they just me. left it oh. in. Dude, and I don't think Martin gets enough credit for his stand-up. Like, dude, his... Def Comedy Jam hosting? Dude, it's special, too. Man, man I thought... Martin had a run. In That's his not prime, one in his prime, I sat there and was... I remember asking my brother, I was like, yo, how is this dude this funny? Oh, Between Martin. Def Comedy Jam and the show <laughs> Martin, I was just sitting there like, how is he this funny? Yeah. And his specials. Like, insane. I just got frustrated. <laughs> I was like, I've never seen nothing like this at that time. You know what's funny about that? That's a good point you bring up. Def Comedy Jam has the best of our generation <laughs> of comedians <laughs> yeah. at their best. Yeah. Right? Comedy View was good, but Def Comedy Jam has. Oh, yeah. Mm. And Martin Comedy was, was hosting after. for all of them. When they, until a certain. Until no, then it left. was Joe Torrey. He left eventually. But what I, let me, this is what I'm saying. Oh. He didn't host all the Def Comedy Jam. But when all the big hitters the were prime. on there, oh, yeah. he was there. Absolutely. Yeah. Def Comedy Jam went on for a long time. Right. But that Bernie wasn't, they weren't on then, DL yeah. and Steve. When you had the people at their best, yeah. Yeah. Martin had to Martin. come right mm. back out there he did. It was and hold the, his own. Yeah. Dog. And he was he came out of his draw. He was the best yeah. host Absolutely. ever. 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 Like, can you imagine trying to host and then Bernie Mac's finna Man. come? Man, Chris Tucker, when he lit mm. the stage on fire, Duh. and you come up and. Because those were. Those, that, that, career that time. Defining. Careers. That, that Chris Tucker. I uh, ain't nobody watching Def Comedy yeah. Jam like Chris Tucker. No. Yeah. And Dale. Chris. Bernie Mac. Yeah. Everybody was from Def Comedy Jam. Who Chris was Tucker's yeah. stand up set. They really took that and put those words in the movie. Same time, man. Yeah. They was keeping the cadence. Yeah. He was like, it went from there to 20 million. Yep. Fun fact 
Chris Tucker's from Decatur, Georgia. We went to the same high school. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. 20, 30 years later? Yeah. 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 20. 45. He's Chris Tucker's on the wall He's somewhere. class of 91. <laughs> and you were born in 93, wasn't it? Four. Damn, Why y'all keep man. bringing that up, man? I'm, gonna, I'm a grown you up. You brought it up. <laughs> I'm a grown up. I think uh, that that's a good point because when we talk about Martin, in, in my debates, mm-hmm. he's not... His Def Comedy Jam is not brought up that much. I feel like that oh, should man. be stand like a in general, is it? And he's like a run tell that was what was his first one? His HBO special is my favorite Martin stand up. Is that the one Craig and them had been? You know, Craig and them is that the one where he said that joke? <laughs> we had on the leather pants and the, the colorful shirt. That made that's the brown where he was the fly the fly joke. <sighs> They're kind of burned together now. Okay. Rontel Lad was the tan outfit. That was that later. Was much yeah. later. That's okay. the actual. Okay. He did You So Crazy before that. You So but, Crazy. But That's before so crazy. that, I'm of. before that, the HBO special. Well, what he, was mm. the name of that? Uh, I'm about to pull it up. Hold on. I can't remember. I'm Dude, looking at some filmography. He had sex a run. With the, with the lady on her period. And he's like, you're looking at your dick like a murder oh, weapon. Yeah. And he's just like, yeah. <laughs> oh, I remember that. And yeah. the thing is, Will's going to beat almost everybody when it comes to movies. Uh, actors, period, except mm-hmm. maybe Tom Cruise. Yeah. But Martin had some movies Martin that were run. hilarious. They might not have been box office smashes. Oh, dude. But Martin was, he had Big Mama's house. The first Big Mama's house. Hello, this is Hattie Mae Pierce. He was Iconic. In, uh... You know a movie I didn't see until he had House what Party? What? I couldn't find it. I oh, don't okay. see what y'all looking for? His, his, his first, first special. special. Oh, I can find it. Um, <laughs> yeah, so. You got House Party 1 and 2. Chill, you bump at the table. That's Martin. Do the right thing. You got Do the Right Blue thing. Blue Streak, was that? That was Martin. You got Boomerang. Better rallies. He killed in Boomerang. He did. Absolutely. Um, Thin Line Between Love and Hate. Mm-hmm. Oh, Absolutely. snap. Bad Boys 1 and 2. and 3. But yep. that's well, in the wheel. Welcome home, Roscoe Jenkins. Uh, mm, you know what I'm saying? Y'all didn't like that life. Death at a Funeral. Wild Hogs. Y'all didn't like Black Knight, I presume. Big Mama's House 1, 2, and 3. National was he in security. three or was Blue Street, uh, National Security? Yeah, he was in three. They should have been in <laughs> Black Knight. Black, he, that was the son, the stepson. I, oh, yeah. I love Black Knight. I love Did Black Knight, too. I love it. I just like Martin, so it's easy I to mean, like. Dude, that scene in Blue Streak with Tim Robbins when he goes, Hey, man, you got a fucking spider on your head. And Tim Robbins is like, Hey, man, I don't know all these urban terms. What is <laughs> what is spider on it? He goes, Man, you got a motherfucking spider. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I fucking killed me. Oh. Uh, so, but Will's gonna win the movie debate. Yeah. In any, he he wasn't. Will wasn't making comedy movies though. He was making sci-fi. He started off films. his first movie with that one movie he played the gay man, but then he was Six also degree in separation. Yeah, sure. And he was in Where Did They Take You? He was in uh, Made, Made in America, America with Neil Long and Whoopi, Whoopi Goldberg. Goldberg you seen Dancing. that one? You don't know what that is? It was good. Oh no. Why was I watching movies like my first Will Smith old. movie was uh, Independence Day. Now, he punched the alien in the face, and somehow that hurt the alien. A cigar. Even though that they said that was a protective layer. That's what layer. I, as a child, said. That's a fucking man right there. <laughs> How many times have you said that in your life? <laughs> I knew a man when I seen one. Also, uh, Vivica Fox was so doggone fine in her? Independence no, Day. No, and I booty have a gripe with that. Why oh, was she a stripper? God. I don't know. Why did she oh, have to yeah, be a stripper? Yeah. You know what one of my favorite Will Smith movies is? Enemy of the State. That was good with too. Gene Hackman. Gene yeah, Hackman. This is one night stand. That's what it was. One, one night, night stand. stand. Uh, yeah. And oh. Regina, uh, Regina King was. Well, I was going to talk about early Martin movies. I found this during the pandemic. Talking Dirty After Dark. Uh, I had good. never seen that before. Oh, that movie. They're disappointed. <laughs> it's definitely trash. But like I Man. was like, this is new. I have the cast never was seen fire. it. Because everybody was in yeah, it. Yeah, everybody was in it. I, was, man, I got to see that movie. I it's was based like, in like a comedy club. He's like an up and coming comedian yeah. in LA. Never even heard of this until this moment. Insane. So you said Fresh Prince. You said Martin. Yeah, I'll you take say what? Ooh, oh man, I so, have a hot take once we wrap this up. So it's tough. Pound for pound, Martin is is smacking Fresh Prince in terms of just straight laughs. Yeah, because Fresh Prince ain't have no raccoon puppy. No, they were or just, the dog, would just be the dog, so ridiculous. Fresh Fresh the Prince. fake dog. But I thought you didn't Fresh like Prince silly. Ain't have that. But it, it, I couldn't deny it because... <laughs> That's a good point. You did, you ain't like that yeah, I couldn't deny it. I was laughing. I was like, yo, man, Dragonfly Jones doing all this extra shit. I was like, Come Silence, on. man. <laughs> get off of me, punk. Before all you the, get hurt. All the characters that he Jerome, played. Hilarious. The way Jerome oh. looked, man. Jerome, Otis, Mama Payne, so Nene, Roscoe, oh, White Boy now. Bob. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Bob from the county? Man. What? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> All right. Martin bit a church pew and spit it out. But here's the thing about me All and right. Silly. 
Here you go. It got too silly. Oh, here we go. Then when I was when like, did it get too silly? Later on in the seasons where it was just like, all right, y'all really don't have so you didn't no think story here. Party all the time. Well, was they silly. didn't have Gina. They didn't have Gina. <laughs> don't get me wrong. Party all the time is, is a silly track. <laughs> yeah. But it was a hit. Oh, That's right. all I'm saying. Oh, Eddie man. Murphy made a musical hit song. As a stand-up comedian, Tony, he we made, done with this. Uh, y'all brought I it back it, to I me. It, no, don't, don't, don't bring it up. All right, you brought right, it back right, to right, me. All, all I'm bad. saying is <laughs> he has a hit on Billboard just like Jamie Foxx. All right. Does. Okay. But <laughs> the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, the writing was leaps and bounds better. Yeah, it's not close. <laughs> the character development of and the dynamic of Carlton and Will is just... <laughs> Martin was like, we have the funniest person on earth. Let him do funny things. Right. We will For laugh. Six years straight. That's all. Fresh they didn't Prince, try to do nothing. We else. got a good ensemble. Uncle yeah. Phil was dope and Viv was mm, fired. Yeah. Carlton yeah. was a great offset to Will. Name. It was yeah. just like that dynamic. Hillary Ashley just being dumb. We see Ashley grow up. It was just like, and then the shenanigans they would get into. The women on the Fresh Prince were just he had all the fine. Homes. They were. Uh, and, and uh, you were a bad bitch in the nineties if you wasn't on that Jasmine Guy, Ooh. Deborah Fox, Tisha Tyra Campbell, Banks, Tyra Banks, Banks, Jada Pinkett, Nia Long. Jada wasn't on there. She was on a I guess episode. Nia Long was on there. Which episode was Jada in? Season five, episode seventeen. Jada went on the original that show. Sure? was fire, man. I am five thousand percent sure she wasn't on that show. I don't know. She might have just been watching. She auditioned. Christmas. She auditioned, but she didn't get it. I think she auditioned yeah. for Lisa, and she didn't and get it. She, got she, it she was on a different world. Though. It was That's close. what it was. That's a why different I thought world it was the time. I'm so, looking at Will's filmography. He got some shit on him. Uh, oh, we not, I'm not even going Nobody with can I'm not even looking. Okay, let's debate. Hold on. He's I'm not even looking. So, Sorry. But he, Martin ain't going to beat him on that either. On what? On top three Martin movies. No, There's no, nothing in the movie category. We can't even compare. Let's just debate Will against Will. The top three Martin movies has Will in it. That's what I'm saying. Literally. Once you get out of the TV show, it's... The House Party is top three. For Will? Martin. Oh, for Martin, yeah. Okay. House Party is one of my favorite comedies. All right, so uh, I'm going to go with Fresh Prince overall because Martin ran out of steam. When him and Tisha Campbell weren't getting together that whole season... Yeah. It was the just jokes silly. fall flat because yeah. they spend so much time trying to make make it make sense why Tisha Campbell's not in there yeah. mm. that you really can't make that show make sense. That's yeah. like Carlton not being in the Fresh Prince. Like, right. dog, you you need him. But pound for pound, funny, Martin is smacking the shit out of most that. TV shows in yeah. existence. That's why I choose Martin because I just be wanting to laugh. Mm -hmm. I don't care. I want Martin to say not my mama's biscuits. <laughs> I want him. It Dude, was good. You it was got silly. to work. You got to love Myra's feet or my whatever they said about Myra's feet. Go to work on Myra's feet. Go to work on Myra. Mm. Like I like to just be like this is hilarious. Oh. Martin having the dog. I heard that's because they wanted a dog. They oh couldn't get it approved. God, Dude, the fake so dog funny, fight, and Come then on, seeing the them losing it. Yeah, no. Martin and laughing and then not editing it out. Got the draw. When Martin lost, got the draw. Got the draw. Then when Martin lost that, and he was <laughs> <laughs> the day of the Gitchy's over. My mommy said, "Dog." They just turned the cameras on and was like, "Let him pretty do Ricky, man. what they call dog, bro man, bro man from the fifth floor, bro man." Tracy, Tracy Morgan, hustle man, oh, hustle yeah. man, had a kazoo taped yeah. to a saxophone, <laughs> blew the kazoo, but played the saxophone. Sax That's still my. Favorite. Favorite Tracy Morgan role. Uh, Chitley. I got this chicken. Yeah, low. I got the chicken. This chief. Yeah, chicken's all uh, silly and dumb and fun. What's I happening, love chief? silly and dumb and fun. But it was, it was. I would not argue that the Fresh Prince is a better show. Mm -hmm. But if you ask me, Kev, you going, you got three hours and you're gonna get to watch your favorite episodes of both. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Turn on mm -hmm. Martin. I am. I'm the man. I'm not gonna watch the last season. I don't like the intro. Oh, uh, woo -woo. when they changed into the little cartoon, the cartoon. Martin, you come out the TV, out it was creepy, man. Okay, let me I'm tell you this. Man. Probably the the time I almost peed laughing, mm -hmm. hardest in my life, when Martin fought Tommy the oh, Hitman. Oh, I was just going to say that, yeah. Oh, Hearns, man. yeah. When he came out of that room <laughs> and his head was this big. Yeah. And he, had, he was oh, sitting on that couch. Not coming out of the hair. He was sitting there. Told I almost had an asthma attack the first <laughs> I I was gonna die, bro. Damn, y'all saw that in real time. In real yeah. time, because we were alive. 
He came Damn. out, he man, with no. We didn't know what was happening. No. His, the uh. way he sat down. <laughs> his head was this. Want to take a quick break from the show to tell you about fabric. Listen, parents, it's no secret that you have the people who rely on you. Do you have life insurance so they're protected? Don't wait until it's too late. With Fabric by Gerber Life, you can help protect their future right now and provide them with some financial security that they deserve. Fabric was designed by parents for parents to help you get a high quality, surprisingly affordable term life insurance policy in less than 10 minutes. Fabric has flexible policies for your family and your budget with quality policies like a million dollars in coverage for less than a dollar a day. Get your personalized quote in just minutes and then apply when it's convenient for you. It's all online and on your schedule. You could go from start to covered in less than 10 minutes with no health exam required. Not sure if life insurance is right for you? Take Fabric's quick 60 second quiz to find out. There's no risk to apply. They have a 30 day money back guarantee and you can cancel at any time. Fabric has partnered with Gerber Life, trusted by millions of families like yours for over 50 years with over 1,700 five-star reviews. They're rated as excellent on Trustpilot. Listen, join the thousands of parents who trust Fabric to protect their family. Apply today in just minutes at meetfabric.com slash crazy. That's meetfabric.com slash crazy. M-E-E-T fabric.com slash crazy. Policies issued by Western Southern Life Assurance Company, not available in certain states. Prices subject to underwriting and health questions and now back to the show oh, it's big yeah. dog how did he even make that man dog. Man, we used to go to school quoting martin like Tone. friday we would don't you know no good <laughs> we all singing we would i school. remember playing outside mm -hmm. we would stop like bikes on the ground the basketball dribbles yeah and everybody would run home in enough time to see martin right That's i don't crazy. that didn't happen for fresh Prince. not that it wasn't as good of a show but if you came the next day to outside and you didn't, know what and you didn't see the episode, That's nigga, real. what is wrong with Don't even go to school then. Mm, that's real. You might as well be sick. When Gina had the headboard oh, stuck. Oh, head stuck in the head. When in Gina the, went to the dentist. Yeah. And she. Oh, he, he wanted yeah. her to come to the reunion so he could stunt you. Martin, I told you I was coming. So. Oh, I'm changing yeah. my answer to Martin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wow. Just That's straight so funny. Just on pure, just like, <laughs> no, nah, I'm going back to the Fresh Prince. Uh, Unadulturated funny. I, I don't know where to put up another poll. Seinfeld is my favorite out of all of them. Martin is, is funnier. I think that's fair. I don't think yeah. any of us disagree with Okay. Martin. Yeah. That's I'll what I'm that. saying. The Fresh Prince, the, and the Fresh Prince don't have a bad season. Like, they, they transitioned well into Will it going ended, to college. They wrapped it. Yeah. I like when a season can end, a series can just end. My only walk knock on the Fresh Prince probably is um, when they switch to the light skin Aunt Viv. The Aunt Viv's character never had nothing. No ever. more story. Yeah, she was just Aunt, first Aunt Viv. Oh, dark first Aunt Viv was fire. She man. had her own. Fine. She had her own job. Right. She had the dance episode. Yeah. She had one of my favorite Fresh Prince episodes. She kept breaking everybody's hand uh -huh. when she was giving birth to Nikki. Yes. <laughs> and then light skin Aunt Viv. Last episode. Damn. Yeah. Well, no, I don't know if it was the last one. I'm just saying that that was one of. But she had her own like stuff. Yeah. Like part of the story. They were just like, yeah. girl, like, you just be over here and be in. smiling. Yeah. Daphne <laughs> Maxwell Reed. Yeah. <laughs> She's a nice lady, but. She's I nice. Yeah. And I'm not blaming And I don't want to talk about it, but Janet, she didn't ask man. to be there. Or she no, did, no. but. They, they, didn't, they didn't write for her. She can't say she, lines that are not. She can only do right. what. That are not there. Right. right. Uh, they and I don't know. I think they probably just wanted to stay away from that. Yeah. And then they had Lil Nicky look like dark skin on Viv. Who was this child's mammy? That's true. Because that that's who gave birth to him. She, because it was dark skin vid when she gave birth when he was out. It was like, and right. then it was aware of itself because it was like the season. So like, unvib. Then the light skin unvib came season four. Season five, little Nikki came, and then Jazz came in. Who's playing the mom this year? It was funny, and then it's just like a fully five year old grown Nikki walks in, and we're like, <laughs> and they addressed it. And I'm like, we love that. Let's continue yeah. on with the sitcom. Okay, so we said Martin, Fresh Prince, Martin. Fresh Prince. Fresh, Prince. Fresh Martin. Mm. Fresh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fresh Martin, Martin Prince. I think they're just different shows, but. Yeah, I think it's you easy said to Seinfeld's compare. Seinfeld's your, your favorite? Seinfeld's my favorite TV comedy uh, of all time. You know what? My buddy told really? me. I, like, yeah. I, I never watched Seinfeld. I, I've watched it now mm -hmm. afterwards, but I didn't watch it like real time. Yeah. My buddy told me something about Seinfeld, and it's so true. It's the perfect background noise. Like if you're doing something, put on yeah. just put on Seinfeld, let him play, and it's it's great. You yeah. know? And now I, I I like Seinfeld a lot. Oh man, I love him. 
Yeah, George is the best. That's Seinfeld my favorite, man. It's so funny. From top to bottom. <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah, I only know because I know Wale interludes, and that's how yep. I know. That's all Seinfeld I know. Seinfeld yeah. is comedy. So what were you saying? Top five Will, Will Smith movies? Top five or even top three. I think top three is a little easier because top, it's, I mean, it's one person's movies. He has a, he has a lot, though. Top three? We got to do three? I, Will, uh, Enemy of the State is my favorite Will Smith movie. You got MIB. Maybe, maybe five. Maybe five. I can do five. I can, I can do, do five, five easy. Will, uh, Enemy of the State's my favorite. He mm-hmm. was really great. And it has Tom Sizemore, who I love. He's never been in a bad R. movie. R.I.P. He was great. R.I.P. to the GOAT. Uh, Gene Hackman was great. You're either incredibly smart or incredibly yeah. stupid. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, that movie starts off, and it don't stop. Damn. Oh, yeah. Like, it's... From the cheating to yeah. the to the CD. Pressure's on. Jack Black is in there. Yeah. Standard Seth training Green. op, Seth Green, John Voight. Barry Pepper. Barry Pepper. <laughs> Star Studded Castle. Yeah. I love Enemy of the State. Um Ali. Got Ali. You got <sighs> Ali. Wild Wild West, fire. right, guys? Nah. <laughs> I like Wild Wild West is not as bad as people make <laughs> it out. And I like sure. the white dude in there. I can't think Kevin of his name. Kevin Klein. Kevin Klein was great. Yeah. Dang, that movie hard. didn't make as much. That's why people got such a hard time. Made thing. over 100 mil, but the budget was huge. Yeah. Uh shoot. Okay. He, he did that and turned down the Matrix. I know. He regrets that. Yeah. He turned down. But I get why he did it. I would have done the same. Yeah. I would have done the same thing. All right. So Enemy of the State. Men in Black was great. Mm-hmm. Flawless movie. Um, I really like I Am Legend a lot. Mm-hmm. Hmm, I think okay. there's very few actors, period, who can hold a movie, hold a movie like that. I Am Legend. Yeah. Definitely. I like, like I Am Legend a lot. He too. was fan- be hating on that he, movie. When, really? he, when that dog yeah. died, I I felt. Did I was me? like, dang, Did y'all man. see the arc about the sequel and they're going to go with the alternate yeah. ending? Yeah. The alternate Michael ending is a much better ending yeah. to me. It makes way more sense. King Richard's good. He was great King Richard. He deserved that I don't like when Will Smith does accents, though. I never take him seriously. I just like, always, it up, always Will. takes me out of King the movie. Richard? Yeah. When he was doing King Richard's accent, it was a Richard Williams accent. Oh, tell the truth. Yeah, I hated that. Or I hated that. Was that, that African? That was in Concussion, the concussion Doctor, oh. yeah. What so I said three. he had King Richard? He like was trying to talk about Richard Williams. Oh. Yeah, there's a Southern situation going on. I like that. Uh, oof. You got Hitch. Hitch I love Hitch. Good. Hancock. Hitch is in my... I First like half of too. Hancock is excellent. Second I hate, half is... They, they went away from their own rules. Yeah. And I hate when movies do that. Yeah. You're supposed to be dying because that white girl's there. First half, that could have been the best shit ever. Yeah. Actually, I really like Hitch. I'll throw Hitch in there. Mm-hmm. And, uh... No, where the bad boys at? I'm about to give you one. Oh, okay. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Piss me off. Bad boys. <laughs> the first Bad one? boys. Which one? Mine is two, specifically. Two is The Devil's Not Welcome Here? Yeah. yeah. I like Bad Boys too. Gabrielle Union was a good time. I I'm like on, Bad Boys One too. of the very few the black fence. damsels in distress. I have a whole thing about that. One of the reasons I started doing my series is because there's no black women in these movies or damsels in distress. In what movie? I think only two black damsels in distress I can ex- I can think of is Bad Boys 2 and Blade. And I can't think of no other movies that I've personally Miami seen. Miami Vice? I ain't see that. They had that. to go get uh, Naomi Harris out of the trailer. Sure. I ain't seen that. I ain't seen it. Okay. Well, I'm all right, you're up. Y'all ain't watching enough. Movies, and then we'll man. go back to you. And then you. <laughs> top five wheels. Me? Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, top five wheels. Bad boys. Maybe one. Even though that maybe Martin was the bigger star in one, wasn't he? At the time Martin they made was, it. Was yeah. Uh, Enemy of the state. Shoot, uh, Men in Black. It's gonna be the same, pretty much the same goddamn list. Mine different. Uh, I am Legend. I am Legend, <laughs> <laughs> and then rounding it out. Um, Pursuit of Happiness. I forgot about that. Seven Pounds. Oh, I actually probably like Pursuit of Happiness more than Hitch. Um. Pursuit of Happiness was really good. I love that. He made me so sad when that little boy was in the bathroom. Okay. Was um, crying. I haven't seen Emancipation, by the way. Um, he had another accent. I put it. Bad Boys 2 in there. Bad Boys 2 and 1. Yep. He was good in Emancipation, though. Um, yeah, I still haven't seen it. Yeah, it's okay. Bad Boys 2. Okay. I, Robot. Mm. Oh, I like that. It had Biggie Absolutely. Simmons in it. Or Rusty Simmons. Dude, I Men like in this Black. Movie too. Both of us was good. Yeah. Men in Black. I want to say. Would you say you say Bad Boys Two, Bad I Boys Robot, two. Men in Black, Independence Day? Oh yeah. And I can't decide decide between 
Shark Tale and Hitch. Shark, Shark Tale does not I, hold up. I, I just watched kid, Shark Tale as a kid as when Shark Tale came out. You, I, I put the day, I put that on for my preschool kids when I, I worked never, in the daycare. You would have been a child in there. <laughs> I never watched. It. I, I just rewatched it for research. It was yeah. black as hell. Ugh. Research, eh, kid? Whoa, I like brother! Shark Tale more than I like Madagascar. Really? I did not like Madagascar. Madagascar. I love Madagascar. Wasn't that Chris Rock in there? Yeah, yeah and Jada Pinkett and Ben Stiller. And Ben and that Stiller. White man. What's that one white man name? Uh, I'm looking right at his face. Ray Romano? Zach, not Zach Braff. No, Ray Romano was Ice Age. Ice Age. Which is also good. Wait, it's Ben Stiller, Jada, Chris, and... Is it the white man from Friends? Tom McGrath, Ben Stiller. Here, David Schwimmer. David Schwimmer. Oh, David Schwimmer. Mm-hmm. He was yeah. really funny in that. Dang, I forgot about that. Okay, what's yours, Jay? I am Legends number one for mm-hmm. me. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, put Independence Day in there. Um, what was the one? Uh, it was based on the true story with his son. Where it should happen? Yeah, yeah, I like that. I got to rewatch Enemy of the State. It's been so long. I remember seeing it, but yeah. I can't. remember. It holds up really well, Tony except Scott, the technology the looks old because yeah. it's like a it's CD. Like the green. Um, yeah. Bad Boys. Put yeah. first. The first one. Yeah, I'll put the okay. first one. What is that for? Yeah. Yep. Um, and then I'll do, uh, oh, I, did, I did like, uh, whatchamacallit, the, the one, King Richard. King Richard was I like fire. King Richard, yeah. It was great. King I Richard was fire. I, I didn't really know about that. I love, I like movies based on true stories yeah. and like, and then you try and afterwards you like, okay, how accurate is this? Right. You know, look it up. Look, it up. look it up. King All right, Richard reverse was fire. order, top five Martin movies. <laughs> In reverse order. So, so you're first? going first. Okay. Oh, man. You put this pressure on me. Well, um, the, yeah. I, I, like, I don't have the Tony mind. You should go with somebody else first. <laughs> All right, Tony, go ahead. Uh, top five Martin movies, House Party, Bad Boys 1, Bad Boys 2, um, Boomerang, and... Uh, <laughs> Arama. Arama. Let me see if you have. Um, I guess a thin line between love and hate. All right. I'll go while Mel's looking. Life. Oh, life. Life. My bad. No, no. It's take, too late. Sorry. No, no. no take sorry. thin line out of uh, it. Life. life. I cannot believe I forgot life. Life. Right. For sure. I was like, yes, this is great. Life. <laughs> life. life is my favorite Martin movie. Absolutely. Life. He really held his own against Ed or with Eddie. Yeah, for sure. He he was he great. Did. He already outshined Eddie and Boomerang, so I knew he was capable. Yeah. Um, mm. House Party. Oh, my God. I forgot uh, he was in that. But that don't really count. Yeah. Do the Right Thing. That don't really count. Why? He's in it. His role it's was not a Martin enough. movie. He wanted to make Okay, okay people. fine. Uh, thin Line, then. I like Nothing to Lose a lot. Nothing to Lose is good. Tim, uh, Tim Robbins. Tim Robbins. I like Tim Robbins. And I like the original uh, Big Mama's House. <sighs> he was funny to me, and I like Silly. Um, or oh, and, and bad boys, I forgot about that. That's what it was. It was, it was, it was that was nothing to lose. Okay, in. okay I'll take out Vin Line and put bad boys in. Bad boys I'll two. Take out Big Mama's house and put bad boys two. <laughs> Bo- boomerang, bad boy. I mean, Big Mama's house. Uh, what was that? Black Knight, definitely. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Y'all don't like Black Knight. I like Come Black Knight. That's our five. I, I watched Black Knight on my own time as a kid. That's I used to have Not even top ten. All right. Um, <laughs> my personal. I What's mean, the House Party's the top, but it's like, that's not a, a, a Martin movie. Which one? House Party. He's just in it. He in it, though. Nah, he, he he's more in than it good. In it. He's in it as he's hell, in it but good. like, yeah, I wouldn't call it. No, 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 I, he's in it, he's but I wouldn't call piece. it a Martin movie. He's a major piece, though. He's one of our favorite though. Martin movies. But he's in Boomerang with similar amount. Right, if you got Fair. Boomerang in there. He's in there as much as he is in Boomerang. Right. He stole the show for sure. In, in both of those, he was in there like oh, they weren't in the movie. I'll say that's not one of my favorite Martin performances. I'll okay, say you can say that. You can say whatever you I want. I enjoyed Welcome Home, Roscoe Jenkins. It was funny. I, th- I remember liking it, but I don't remember it like that. Why you don't like Big Mama's House? I do. It was cool. Mm. It was cool. You turned your Terrence nose up. Terrence Howard was, was just terrifying. Like, I had a, for the top five, I was just because he had the wig or the the fat suit. Or I look at like you got Big Mama's House in the top five when you got life. <laughs> House Party, Bad Boys 1 and 2, Boomerang out here. Damn, I didn't say life. Well, maybe life. I don't know. I'll give it to you. You know what I'm saying? So okay. I was like, Big Mama's house. Yeah, yeah. All right, Jason. <laughs> uh, not in any type of order, but uh, we'll definitely do bo- Boomerang, A Thin Line Between Love and Hate, uh, um, Bad Boys. Uh, one or two. I might put both. 
Okay. Um, Join me in both. Um, death at a funeral. Mm. Uh, no life, huh? Interesting. Oh, yeah, life. I okay. left it out. All right, there you go. All right, that's enough. Y'all want to hear my hot take? <laughs> hot take, and then we're closing. Okay. My hot take is Uh-oh. Bernie Mac would not be seen as such a legend had Robin Harris not died prematurely. Those are always hard to do for me because mm. you, the, the, you don't know what Robin Harris would have done. That's like Kevin Hart. They Tony's say that about. Pissed. They say that about Kevin Hart. <laughs> I think he's thinking. Really he's thinking. thinking they say Kevin Hart wouldn't be Kevin Hart if Cat Williams uh, wasn't fighting didn't middle phone, schoolers. <laughs> <laughs> didn't fumble the bath. She said fighting middle schoolers. <laughs> he really did. He would. Uh, Cat was never going to be that palatable to white people. He would have never had that success. But that's another conversation. That's a good point. Robin Harris. I'm trying Bernie, to get a bad emoji. I feel like Bernie Mac. And I'm not saying Bernie's not funny at all. Absolutely no. not. Do you feel like Bernie Mac and Robin Harris were in the exact same lane? No. Because really. they were both working so. at the same time. They no, were the same. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's kind of like, who's somebody that died? I don't, somebody think Bernie, I don't think there's nothing Bernie Mac had in his career that he wouldn't have had if they Robin were, Harris they was They were alive. not the same. Robin Harris is known for roasting people. That's his. But I'm saying like that real his, uncle of comedy of that generation, I feel like that. I mean, but like Robin the Bernie Mac show, that. was it Bernie Mac? That Bernie Mac show that he, yeah, but he got they that different. off of um, King his, of Comedy, off of Kings of Comedy. Yeah, he still would have been on Kings of Comedy, I believe. Yeah, and he still would have got that show. He still had that Def Comedy Jam. Like those are Bernie, three of his tenants. Yeah, uh, Kings of Comedy. I'm sorry, Def Comedy Jam, Kings of Comedy, Bernie Mac show. Yeah, I don't think Robin Harris being alive would have changed. I the feel like that's somebody he would have had actual competition with because he watched everybody on Kings of Comedy. I don't think so. You don't think he could have competed with him? No, no, no. I don't think I don't think Robin Harris would have changed anything about Bernie Mac's Me career. Neither. Really? I, I, I think, think they were so in different lanes comedically. Yeah. I, 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 and maybe because I wasn't alive during either well not I wasn't not alive <laughs> during Bernie Mac, but like I wasn't alive to see Robin Harris passed in what, ninety three or ninety four? I'm gonna like say 90, it was ninety. Ninety one, ninety one. Because he passed before Baby's kids, right? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't learn he to a couple years ago that right that wasn't him and Baby's kids. I didn't learn that either. House party was nineteen ninety. He he died March eighteenth, nineteen ninety. Now that I'm getting tomatoes, y'all yeah, mad? <laughs> Jeez, uh, I just he said I just wanted them back. Yeah, they, at the uh, tip gate. I just I think, I don't think I they think were different lanes. I don't even put them together. Nah, really? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I think because Bernie Mac's stand up was so unique to him, mm. they gonna give that show. Bernie, uh, I'm not saying he wouldn't have got the Bernie Mac show. Yeah, but I mean that's what that was like ten years after he. Had I can't died. even imagine Bernie Mac roasting people. Nah. Yeah, they that. were different, but I feel like the OGness, uh, because he was even well. Actually, he really not that much older than no, he just seems older than Steve ha- ha- Harvey. Robin Harris age. looked old, but he wasn't that old. Yeah, but I'm saying neither was Bernie. Yeah. Bernie Bernie's Mac, older Bernie's than Steve like Harvey, but they're the same age. They're four year difference. Bernie Mac was four years younger than Robin Harris. So they're the same age. Yeah, roughly. I don't know. I just feel like I love Robin Harris. Robin Harris looked like an old man, but he wasn't. And then Bernie Comedy Mac didn't give you. me old man. He didn't give me old man energy, though. It yeah. is very. Uh, you know what? Mm-hmm. That's fair. It, I was thinking that too. It's got Aaliyah. People are like, oh, Beyonce won't be Beyonce, but Aaliyah didn't die. Like they were. No, Beyonce, Beyonce was, was already in. out. And also Bernie Beyonce Mac. Was not selling when I don't, Beyonce was alive. Yeah, Bernie Mac fit alive. into um, the Ocean's Eleven universe in a way I don't know that Robin Harris would have. Yeah, that's true. Bernie Mac, too, he didn't have a lot of space in that movie, but he was. Remember, he was shaking the man's hand. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, come on, man, you could give to me. Yeah, and Bernie was different. 15. I'm not saying they were the same at all. Yeah, I'm just yeah, saying yeah. like that comedy OGness of it all. Do you think he would have been in Kings of Comedy? Not saying he would have replaced I think Bernie. Bernie I, Mac. If Robin think? was in there, he would have bumped somebody, but he wouldn't have bumped Bernie. That's what mm. I'm saying. I feel like <laughs> he Robin would have been one of the Kings of Comedy for sure. But Bernie wouldn't have been out. No, no, no. That's I feel what I'm like saying. Bernie still would have had his set. Bernie had the best set. Uh, to me, on there, absolutely. That's why he was left. Yeah, but, uh, actually, Cedric said he was closing. Yeah, he on did. those shows, they, they just, just rearranged on the movie? movie. They put Bernie last. They had I Cedric know. closing. They, but Cedric's set was amazing. It was. Yeah, Cedric's but, set was but, fire. But Bernie's set was so personal that it was just like the it, energy on his set was just different than what we were seeing on the rest of the show. Yeah, it was just like a different like mm, yeah. energy on it. And so the the thing is with Bernie Mac is that. You know, I don't know. I don't know what you mean by OG. Do you mean age or do you mean he just seemed vets? like a because okay, I watched a again. This is why 
I uh, felt this way because I was watching the documentary on TV One. I was watching his unsung, uh-huh. and he ran that room out here. What was it called? Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. La- the Comedy Act Theater. Yeah. Comedy Act Theater. Robin, so right? it just seemed like he was just such a big pillar in comedy. But see, the thing is, black comedy is a small. It is. A that small was world. black LA comedy, yeah. which is dope. But it's a small yeah. subset of a small subset. Mm. Yeah. Of, I didn't even know that, and I'm a comedian. I also didn't know about tripping on Tuesdays. I mean, what was Guy Tories? Uh, Fat Tuesdays. Fat, Fat Tuesdays. Tuesdays. Yeah. I didn't know that impact until the documentary. Right. Yeah. Right. Mm. Because that was if you lived in L.A., you knew about that. Right. But the world didn't know about Robin Harris like that. I mean, his room uh, in L.A. Nor Fat Tuesdays like that. Right. The comedy world knew about it, mm-hmm. but the overall world, everybody knew about Kings of Comedy because that was a movie in theaters. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. Think of the timeline too. So I was thinking as is his. His OGness. That's why I was like, dang. Yeah, yeah, he, he was, was like that dude. He what really does was. the OG mean? That's because he was running that room. He was running that, that room, stuff. so so many people came through that room to make it. And I think he predated. Like, like he died vet. before Def Comedy Jam. Yeah. yeah. Like old... So I'm saying he could have been really big if he got the Def Comedy that, Jam. If that track record from Comedy Act Theater had continued. Comedy Act Theater, movie... House Party, Do the Right Thing. Because he was his trajectory, trajectory was, was he was on his way. House Party. House Party was going to make him a star. Absolutely. Once that movie hit, he died in 1990. The movie came out in 1990. It was like an old boy from Low Down Dirty Shame. Yeah. And then, so they had to scrap Bay Bay's We'll kids. never know what it would have been. But from the outside looking in, because I'm in Chicago during all this. Mm-hmm. And so you were in Chicago, so you've I seen see Bernie. I see Robin Harris. I didn't see Bernie yet at all. Robin Harris, I see him on Robert Townsend's uh, Partners in Crime. And then I see him show up in Mo Better Blues, mm-hmm. do the right thing. So I'm like, yo, who is this guy? He's yep. funny. Because they had him doing jokes on Mo Better Blues. Yep. So, yep. It was like, so he was mm-hmm. doing the set that we see. were seeing in other. Yep. So I was just seeing this dude from that. Like, not knowing about the Comedy Act Theater in LA, I was just like, yeah. yo, this dude right here. <laughs> and then it was like, House Party was like, yo, this dude, hilarious. Yeah. And then, boom, so he, he died. So then after, not saying that, oh, perfect's my chance. I didn't say yeah. Bernie did that, but I'm saying we yeah. will never know. And then Bernie started coming. When, when was, uh, when you do Def Comedy Jam? That was like it was 92? like 92. Bernie it did was Def Jam. Robin was already like gone. 92, and then he didn't blow up until when Kings he blew of Comedy, up. right? Kings of Comedy was 2000. No, but he was in. Um, he was in Friday. He was in. How but he was. Player. In, he was. Those he were was, small he, roles. He was just doing the, the little small. But he, joints. of course, everybody blew up. But he had to have been big before then to get on Kings of Comedy. He he was only in the in the he was only in the niche black stuff. So he was in. Don't mm. be a menace. Players he was Club. in. Uh, Daddy got him Players in the show. Club. He was in House oh, Party Moesha. Three. He was in House Party Three. He was. It's a Robin Harris it's connection. Mama, mama got a. a you can He's talk in House Party Three. Now I got to cut you. That's he the rule. Like, Is that Ooh, the... I knew I knew your name. <laughs> he used to call you Joe Boom. <laughs> Yeah, what right. is this people don't I can't like see what it is, but I don't yourself. know if I like it. What emoji is that? That first one, the rocket. Is it... It's a witch, ain't it? Oh, it's a yeah. I think oh, the witch is for see. Harry Potter. I couldn't. I can't see what it is from here. It looked different on computers sometimes. <laughs> the king. It'd be, it would have been interesting to see what movies Robin Harris was in. Yeah, that I would like to have seen the trajectory. Like, Hollywood was picking the one black at a time thing, mm-hmm. so maybe that's what you mean. Like, if he's going, or is is he getting the roles Bernie Mac would have? Uh, Bernie Mac got. I was trying to think of, like, so what was Bernie's thing? Because, like, Steve and Cedric already had the Steve Harvey show when right. Kings of Comedy came out. What was, D.L. was hosting Comic View. What was uh-huh. Bernie? Bernie? He didn't have So this one. is Bernie. That's, this that's is Bernie. what I'm saying. Kills he didn't have the nothing. original Kings of Comedy was, is what got him like in four, sitcom. So. No, listen, this is his thing. It was it was bit roles in movies. Bad. Start with 92. Mo Money, I didn't remember him. Who's the Man, House Party 3, Above the Rim, The Walking Dead, Friday. Don't Be a Menace, Get on the Bus, Reasons. Booty call, baps. Yep. How to be a player was his. He that's, was prominent. That's what I was saying. Oh, yeah, the sure. husband. That's ninety seven. That's, that's dollar bill. Players club. No, a players club. I'm sorry. How to be a player? He was a man's. The ladies' he was husband. A, yeah. husband. Yeah. I'm sorry. Players club. You're right. Ninety eight. He was dollar bill. Ninety nine was life. Kings of comedy. Two thousand. Ocean's eleven. Two thousand one. Uh, and then his Kings show. Kings of Comedy is when everything just started. Kings of Comedy is when he 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 crossed. Because he over. got his show. Yeah. Kings of Comedy was two thousand. And Ocean's Eleven was 2001, Bernie Mac show 2001. Mm-hmm. So Kings of Comedy, the you could say, is They drafted the pilots. Because they talk about that within the uh, Kings of Comedy. Remember when they having that moment where they just on oh, the court? Snap. They talk yeah. about that. Like, what they say? You know, Hollywood, man. You're missing out on this. It was like, because everybody yeah. had a TV show. Everybody had a show He's on Bernie. TV. He's on TV. And Bernie was the only one that what didn't have. When did that come out? That was 99 or something? What did? The D.O. Hughley show. 
I'm not sure when the Hughleys came on. The Hughleys. Right. I've Sorry. never seen the episode of the Hughleys. <laughs> never you know, seen the boy from the son in there is a murderer. He got all kinds of face tattoos. I read about that. What? <laughs> Tony, you the saw The little old. son from the Hughleys. <laughs> I read about, I read about that. Became a gang member and is a murderer. The Hughleys is 98 to 2002. So they all had TV. So they were already on TV. I'm going to the only one. And sure. then, Bernie, I mean, I see why, but I'm just, I wonder what because Bernie had that. That was at the time when the set became your show. Yeah, you had the set, and they built the uh, the show yeah. off Around of your set. set. Roseanne, yeah. Tim Allen, Bernie's set about them kids, yeah. and I had my sister's kids. Is the like, premise of the yeah. Bernie Mac show? They didn't change the thing. They were like, boom, yes, this is great. Yeah. Clickety click. Mm. Yeah. So they ain't no, they ain't had no show till they saw it. And then, and then when boom. we got into comedy, they stopped doing that. And then after that, you see his. Well, well my show would be, I would just be live from the tub. Like, it would be the <laughs> guess who? from the tub. It should be your album. Yeah, and then after that, he was. Guess who? Uh, yeah, he was a leading man after that. Yeah, Mr. 3000, Transformers. Oh, he was good in Transformers. I, you, I bust your head, bitch. <laughs> He did. Uh, Soul Man is underrated. So it's hilarious. Man, His that movie's movie. funny, Sam Jackson had, had, had a ponytail with no facial hair. Man, that movie's funny, I was like, man. What were you doing, Sam? <laughs> All right, let's get out of here, man. I got to go my son's track meet. <laughs> Random question generator, starting with Mel Mitchell. If you had to walk away from one technology in your life, what would it be? Mm. 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 I, it's a hell of a question. Mm-hmm. What do I not like doing? I don't know. I don't like driving. <laughs> that ain't no technology. I mean, my car is a computer. <laughs> when these new cars is computer. You can't Tesla. Live life without driving. I can't, but well, well, I gotta do it. <laughs> Can someone? Else, if someone else could drive it, that'd nah, be good. If you take out driving, that means you can't go nowhere. Okay, well, damn. Never mind. Um, I don't know. Do y'all have an answer for that? That's I don't know. That's tough. I'm, I'm trying well, to he think. Told this you is my job. Your Technology answer was is my wrong, job. so I don't know. I have an answer. No, but... I said you can have it. You just ain't, you got to walk. Well, that's not fair. Um, <laughs> I honestly don't know what technology I would do without because I, it's my whole life. So, pass. Can someone else go and then I'll get a better idea. <laughs> we'll I we'll see if this qualifies. I'd get rid of, which I already have, cable. You don't like it. Mm. Cop out. It is. But you, I mean, like, you did this on your own. <laughs> yeah. You also uh, don't need cable anymore. I know. That's what I'm saying. Uh, so you're saying something that we use get currently. Get another what question. Would, I don't like that question. Something that you use. I'll get another question. Because that's kind of <laughs> tough. I don't, do you say social you media? Do you say your iPhone? iPad? You take your iPhone. And also, your iPad uses the same thing. You ain't losing nothing. Yeah. Does it affect so. you? No. Ha, one random question said, what's your opinion on tipping? We'll leave that one out. It's not that I don't. I have forgot. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here's the goal. Again, you, the stage crew is gonna. They have a meeting after this. We don't like this male bitch, so let's just get it together. We gonna put the shit emoji for her. Please, I'm so. I paid the girl. Megan is fine. Here's a good one. Do you have a nightmare travel story? Oh, I have one. Okay, All right. my nightmare travel story is me trying to get to keep your distance. The devil knew what that what doors that was gonna open for me, and they would try to that devil. Now, first off, it was my fault. I'll. <laughs> I stopped the Chick-fil-A for breakfast. And I should not have stopped the I thought I had time because I'm like, I have pre-check. Ain't clear. I'm fine. Not but, Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson Airport. You but again, I, I fly all the time. Like even mm. previous to, uh, is that right? Is that right, right? Prior to, whatever. So I was like, I'll be fine. I just got to pull up. I'll park, whatever, whatever. But did Greg book my ticket? Who booked, whoever booked my ticket didn't mm. put pre-check on my ticket. So I get there. I'm sauntering to the pre-check line. I had already was pushing it with time. <laughs> Well, checking my bag. I get to the line like, boop, I'm pre-check. And he was like, no, you're not. And I was like, fuck you mean I'm not pre-check. I pay for pre-check. He's like, it's not your ticket, so just go back to the ticket counter. But at this point, my flight is at 12. Mm. It's like 11. I'm like... Oh, you was cutting it close anyway. I was cutting it close. That's what I'm saying, because I saw the chick for life for breakfast. I thought I had time, because I was like, I'll be fine. I was not fine. <laughs> um, then... So I missed, I was trying to get my luggage. I tried to get the pre-check back on. I was like, I don't have this kind of time. So I was like, I had to go through the peasant clear line, took peasant. my shoes off. Wait, the clear line? The, pleasant, the, peasant? the peasant regular the line. The regular line. clear, oh. not pre-check clear, just clear, clear. In Atlanta, that's that ain't shit. I'm, I'm flying, clear, I'm flying out of Atlanta. So that's, you know, in Atlanta, the clear don't even matter. You got to have pre-check clear, and pre -check clear is, and digital ID. So it's like, clear, if you is regular just line in clear, Atlanta. that ain't shit. You, yeah. you may as well just be in a regular line. So I'm like, I'm waiting in line, which is I have do not do at the airport. <laughs> had to take my shoes off. 
I'm trying to, I had on Birkenstocks. I had this exact, actually, gym shirt. Gym shark said I had the full set on and some Birkenstocks. I was fighting for my life. <laughs> and I'm like, you know how when you rush it and you just panicking? Logic don't really be logicking. So I was like, okay, I'm in B Gates and the train ain't here. So I could probably run there faster than the train will take me. Uh-huh. That was incorrect. The narrator, <laughs> narrator says, I'm running in my Birkenstocks. At this point, I'm asthmatic. So my asthma gets triggered, which triggers my allergy. So now my nose is running. In, I, I, my, my face is covered in snot under oh my, my mask. God. I'm running. I get to my gate. The door is closed. And there's a black lady like. Oh, I'm you like, did all that and didn't make it? And didn't make it. And I was like, ma'am, I got to get to Los Angeles. Like, this is the biggest opportunity in my life. And she's like, ma'am, you have to calm down. I was like, I have to get to LA. <laughs> Crying, you was crying with the, the snot. Oh. <laughs> Literally on the wall, I was like, if I just really sell it like a true white woman, maybe she'll let me on this plane. She was like, "Ma'am, mm. is the plane?" She is- said, "You could die right yeah. here." I don't give a damn. She was like, <laughs> "You have to calm down." One and then two, I'll put you on the two p.m. flight, and I'm just like, "Okay, fine." So she put me on there, but I'm standby. So I get to the gate, distraught. I'm defeated. Like, I, it was so much going on around me. Like, again, my allergies are triggered now. I saw Brent Fias <laughs> come off the plane. I couldn't even be excited. I love Brent Fias. I was just like, man, fuck Brent because I missed my flight. I don't even care right now. Wait, you was flying out the day before? Keep your distance, weren't I was you? the day before, but, like, I'm still panicking because, like, if I don't make it to L.A. for this life-changing 10 minutes of comedy, my life is over. She so, said all that. The show tomorrow. Right. The show, but she still. Mad time. But I haven't got to the worst part. So I'm sitting oh, here. Damn. It's more. So I'm like, Mom, like, they put me in a 2 o'clock flight, but it's standby. What if I don't get on a flight? She was like, well, baby, you have to buy that flight straight out. And because I was doing my little Instagram influencer videos, I had the money in my savings. And mm-hmm. I live home, so I don't have no bills. So right. I had the money. Six hundred dollars. Woo! For a one-way flight to LA that same day. At this point, I'm getting paid less than that to do the damn <laughs> so shit. Mm. I'm in the hole now. But I'm like, you know what? You're I'm down a hundred now. You're down a hundred. I'm down a hundred. I'm not even getting paid that much to do the damn show. But it's like, I, sure I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm getting to goddamn LA. So I just bought the ticket straight out so I could have a seat. So I'm in damn. on the plane. It's raining in, in Atlanta. <laughs> I'm just like, I just got to get to L.A. I just got to get to L.A. It's raining. So we're taxiing until the rain stops so we can take off. We taxi so long for the rain to stop. Now we don't have the illegal amount of gas oh. to take off. Why they didn't just park the plane? Yeah. If you can't go nowhere, just put we it down. We have to pull in oh. and get gas. I ain't never seen a plane get fucking gas. We have to go to the fucking plane gas station. I'm just like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> This delays the flight. I thought the they bring the gas to you in the plane. Mm-hmm. You this went to the Chevron? <laughs> <laughs> went Chevron. down on a goddamn BP you feel this up on at the fucking plane shit. <laughs> oh, snap. The flight is delayed three hours. Wow. We oh. don't leave till five. You might as well wait a little bit. We don't leave yeah. till 5 p.m. And then I'm on my cycle because it's oh. even worse. I'm on my cycle on top of everything God else. Bless and America. I keep on sneezing. You got something coming out of every orifice of your body Literally, right now. I'm like, cough, <laughs> split, <laughs> Uh, I'm like, this is the worst day of my life. I finally made it to the hotel. You know, like, they're parting backs when they finally leave the audition and their hair's all flapped and they just, like, what? That's how I made it to the hotel. I said, God, I'm going to stomp a hole in this fucking stage tomorrow. I don't give a damn. And that's what the fuck I did. Nobody said no, always on her cycle. I'm literally always on my cycle. Like, every important moment of my life, my period has been on. Period, like, we finna go to L.A., baby! (laughs) If it's an important moment, boom, period. (laughs) It's just like my period is always on. It literally is always on. So I I did stomp your I mean stomp your distance. Jesus. Stomp your distance. (laughs) Keep your distance. The next day I woke up and I tell you I practiced that set from top to bottom. I came in here, I was like, I'm gonna beat my fucking face. Then I fucked my wig up because I sweated out trying to run through the airport. So it didn't lay how it was supposed to lay in the (laughs) keep your distance video. And I was very upset about it because like all my hating ass hoes on Twitter was like, bitch's wig be wigging. And I was like, girl, fuck you. You don't know what the fuck I've been through to get on this stage, bitch. I was so fucking mad because my head has had a field day with my wig that day. I was so fucking mad. I was so mad, but I ain't just Asia. My head has had a field day. I haven't had a I can't match this story. I Wait, go... Tony never saw Baps? Yeah, I never you saw You snuck Baps. that in? Yeah, he did. I snuck it in when you said, this is like Baps. And I was like... It's just wild because Tony has seen so many movies. Ba- y'all been that pool that it's a classic shit with me on back. <laughs> it is. I'm going to give you sister uh, act You're not going to disrespect Robert Townsend. But y'all not going to sit up here and act like. You're not going to disrespect Halle Berry ba- and Natalie DeSalle. Babs is no five heartbeats. 
My worst travel story is nowhere near that. Uh, this just really hurt me one time. Flying in Boston. I fall asleep before the plane takes off. <laughs> Check my watch. It's 6 a.m. Wake up. Oh, 9.30. Boy, we halfway home. <laughs> Look out the window. We are on the tarmac in Boston. Oh. And I hear the person say, hey, guys, we're going to get off the plane now. We've oh. reached the limit where we can't keep you on anymore. And we'll let you back on. And that was the last time I fell asleep before a plane has taken off. The only other thing bad travel-wise, when I found went to Egypt, the Egyptian government owns the airplanes, and they the, the time you leave is just suggested. <laughs> It'd be it's like, just, you know, we'll get to it. Flight is 11. It's going be a lot of, like, international, like, like it, it's like 11, then like 11. The plane wasn't even there. And they're not even saying nothing. They just like man, we'll we we'll get don't a plane. Don't say nothing. You go to prison. You'll get in there. All right, where you finna go? <laughs> and we was in Amsterdam. Same thing. We in Amsterdam trying to get to the show. And the plane is not there. They're like, man, what? So it's two thirty. <laughs> so what? We had scrambled to get in nowhere. there, and we get to the gate. Think we gonna miss the plane? The plane ain't even there. But now it wasn't on my period or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> cycle. Yeah. Cycle, plus, cycle, cycle plus cycle. allergies. Man, that's cycle tough. Plus, plus crying. Woo. God How damn. can your body lose that much fluid? Man. I don't know how I didn't left. pass out. You should have. You got Slot, low iron. tears, blood. <laughs> you got any J or Tom? I need uh, an I ID on the a plane. A doozy. All right. Uh, oh, went overseas to perform for the troops. Uh, recently. This is the recent August, one? yeah. Oh. Back in August. Bahrain, oh, Abu Dhabi, and... Uh, we got troops out here? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, Qatar. Qatar. We basically, we left Bahrain... Flew to Frankfurt, Germany. Now, keep in mind, I'm 6'8", so I can't sleep on any plane. Mm. You know, yeah. maybe a cargo plane. I don't know. Uh, go, went from uh, Bahrain to Frankfurt, Germany, and then I think we went to uh, uh, Denver, and then finally back to uh, Vegas. But I was flying, traveling 36 mm. hours. It was 36 hours, the whole thing. Uh -huh. No sleep, just uh, up for 36 hours, and... Having to deal, I remember. I think it was in in uh, Germany. Had to fly like we, trying to get through all these people and get to the next flight, and it just it was the worst. Thirty six hours just up and traveling, oh, which Jesus. is thirty six hours of traveling and no sleep. It was, it was the it's worst. Awful. But that's you can't that's even mine. doze off on a plane. No, how 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 where like my legs, my everything. But you can't you know. do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you don't tuck within yourself like I a pigeon. I mean, I do do that. <laughs> you know, how pigeons be sleeping. <laughs> What will happen is I'll they be like that, and then you jerk your neck, and you're like, and yeah. now I'm just up. So you just be saying, oh, Tony had that joke about before oh. social media. We just take your flights to the face. Oh, my oh. God. Oh, but you can use your phone and stuff. What'd you say? Your feet are touching the ground right now. Yeah. Like. All of our feet are on the ground. Mine. So I'm the only one who feet not touching? Just yeah. me? Mm -hmm. I'm the only one swinging? Like Kevin Hart? Yeah. <laughs> it looks funny. She got like this much yeah. face. She got mad. Between <laughs> the ground and her feet. I like feet. Hi, and we literally are like. <laughs> oh, dude, and, and you have that film feel like you have a film over you for 36 hours. That dude. travel, you gotta get yeah, I can take you, you to the hotel. The, I gotta get that up off me. You gotta yeah. get in the bathtub. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that that so that's what I did. I said. got on the faucet and <laughs> went to work. something different when you said you got yeah. one tone? Yeah. Uh, uh, well, first of all, uh, somebody asked, did I see Tu Wong Fu? I have not. So, uh, I love Tony? Tu Wong Fu. What, so, are you, what is you got against black movies? That's a black movie? <laughs> Two, what, well, Patrick got Swayze? Snipes. Wesley Snipes, Snipes did it, so it's black. Okay. Um, <laughs> He's black enough for the whole cast. <laughs> Tony does not support trans. <laughs> <laughs> they were drag no, queens. I know, I know, I know. I'm joking. Um, oh, okay, so, well, one time, I was about to make my stand-up comedy debut on television. It was on Gabriel Iglesias' Stand-Up Revolution. First time on TV doing stand-up. I get to the airport. Y'all know, if y'all don't know, I'm always late. I'm late, McGee. I'm late, McGirt. That bus? Mm -hmm. No, nah, it wasn't the bus at this time. <laughs> this was, uh, I don't remember how I got to the airport. I don't even think I knew about Flyway at that time. And so I get to the airport. They like, this is, it's too late. I thought I had enough time. To... <laughs> I was like, this is my TV debut. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, cool. I ended up having to buy a ticket then and there. I had a good $1,200 in my checking account. But forget that story. I made it, though, eventually. But here's the, the true <laughs> you just tell that story. trash uh, travel trip. So I do this stand-up comedy competition where the, the prize is, the winners of this, we get to go to New York, 
and watch them film SNL, and we get to have dinner with the cast and crew after the show wraps. So whoever wins the competition, that's where you go. I'm like, all right. So I do the competition at the J Spot in Inglewood. I win, and then so you know, they book a trip to New York to see SNL. I'm like, man, yeah, man, I'm excited. I'm like, oh man, I've never seen it get taped. So I get out there. They fly us out there. We land. And our hotel is like in Jersey or some shit. <laughs> I'm not familiar with New York, so I'm like, I didn't know where they tape SNL at that time. I was just like, all right. So we out there. I'm sure they're going to get us to the venue on time. <laughs> so we at the hotel far, and the lady in charge of this whole contest is like, so um, <laughs> if it starts with, y'all not going to so, have uh, man. <laughs> Y'all not going to have enough time um, for us to get you a ride out here and back. So y'all going to have to get to Rockefeller Center from there. And I'm just like, yo, I don't know where the fuck I'm at. (laughs) I didn't cuss like that, but I don't know where I'm at right now. I got to get on the train. Which train? How? Why? When? Where? That shit is very no Uber. No, no Uber. Uber. No Uber. No. So it was just and like, wait, what? So yeah, just get on the cab. train. You you can get on this train. I'm just like, yo, where? It was me and Ballhead Phillips from Chicago. So we was both like, <laughs> what the hell are we doing, man? You been out here before? Nah. You know. So so we get on the train. The train takes forever in a day. By the time we get to the to the place, mind you, we lost. We on the L train. Once we get to the city, we like, yo, how we get here? <laughs> And it's like, if you ain't familiar with New York, man, it was just a grid. It looked like a uh, a microchip circuit. It do. Oh, yeah. Just it all kind of, all kind of. I'm really just like, what am I looking for. at? I'm looking at the inside of the matrix. It's just. And the yeah. New York people are not helping. No, nah, they're like, they they like yo, get the fuck off me, bro. Yeah, you not even over. You in Jersey, right? I know I'm in Jersey, man. I get to Rockefeller Center. Rockefeller Center? Why you going over there? So I'm just like, man, come on, man. We're trying to get there. So. By the time we get to Rockefeller Center, they not letting no more people in because they they taping live. Oh. So we get there, we miss the whole goddamn taping of the show. I'm just I'm like, your prize was to see the building, man. <laughs> so so let's get back on the train. So no, we we still we still got to go to where they hung out and ate after. So I'm just looking at them <laughs> after the show. Oh, Keenan. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, Jason Sudeikis and his wife, you know what I'm saying? So wait, Keenan was still on this. Keenan been, been on this the whole. Keenan Keenan been on SNL since the seventies. <laughs> so, but he definitely was on there when I did this. This was like 2011, 12, 13. So that's not all on this trip. Another part of the winnings of this contest was you get to do a set on Hannibal Burris's show at the Knitting Factory in Brooklyn. So. I'm like, all right, well, this was a disaster. <laughs> but, you know, I get to perform at the knitting factory tomorrow. Yeah. So I hit her up. I was like, hey, uh, what's the details for the, the knitting factory show? She started and, with, so, uh. So, uh. <laughs> yeah. So, uh. And I was just like, no, she didn't hit me back yet. So I was just like, I hit Hannibal up. Luckily, I had his information already. I already knew him. Yeah. So I was like, hey, man, uh, what time is the show tonight? He was like, you, you on it? Oh, oh my God! I was like, uh, "Yeah, uh, we we won this contest. They say part of the prize was me, you know, doing a set on your show at the knitting." He was like, "This is news to me." I was like, <laughs> "Yeah." Luckily, he was like, "Yeah, yeah, I got some time for you, but yeah, I ain't know nothing about this." I oh, was. God. Did you have a good set at in least? In livid color. <laughs> I was in livid like, color. Yeah, I scrambled to get to the venue. I don't know how I ended up making it there. I was back in the microchip matrix of how to get from from New Jersey to the Brooklyn place. And then the set was cool. It was cool. Like, I didn't love it, but it was a win. I was just like, and then they was like, hey, because they knew I was pissed. Oh, man. Hey, could you not, like, uh, bash us? Not bash the the competition in the the show? I was like, I ain't going to make no promises. Yeah. Tony just dead behind I, the I didn't bash him, but man, that shit was raggedy as hell. Yeah. One of my worst travel stories ain't really have nothing to do with the travel. But on that point, I flew to LA. Somebody, uh, church, uh, it was a church. Um, it's like a teen conference. Mm-hmm. They was booking us. We was performing playmakers. 
or Clayton and Earl. I don't remember. I think it was Clayton and Earl. We used to perform in character as old men. <laughs> it was like, uh, uh, that wasn't the funny part of the story. Uh, <laughs> so they like, if you get to L.A., we'll put you up. Mm-hmm. We had to fly ourselves out here from Washington. It was a lot of money for us. Rent a car, all that stuff. Uh, church is in a hotel. So they didn't have no dressing room for us. We had to put our old men clothes on, our mm-hmm. wig and stuff. <laughs> so we supposed to go like praise and worship and then y'all. So we getting dressed where they got the dishes and plates and stuff. So mm-hmm. the workers are still back here. You know, they like, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> they getting four plates because they got other stuff. Other, you know, it's in like the corridor. Uh, so like, excuse me, man, let me get these cups. Clink, clink, clink. So we get dressed, we're waiting like praise and worship. Y'all going to be next. So we're like, all right, cool. 715, y'all going to be on. Come back 715. Hey man, the Holy Ghost kind of going crazy, bro. Y'all, we go, spirit moving. Soon the spirit moving done, y'all done, right? Holy Ghost had ran the light. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Holy Ghost ran the light. Holy Ghost going right. to 805. Uh-huh. 805. All right, Holy Ghost done, y'all. We're gonna come right back to you. We're just gonna do offering real quick because we don't want nobody to leave without offering. We're like, okay, okay. Soon as offering over, we're gonna be on. All right, y'all. Okay. Offering come. They playing the offering song. Holy Ghost come right back. <laughs> do more time. Right? They praise breaking, shouting 30, 45 minutes. It's nine o'clock now. People start leaving. <laughs> pastor's like, okay, then they come back. Okay, man, we're gonna get y'all right before the pastor uh-huh. comes. Pastor coming, we ain't done. We oh. ain't done. Holy Ghost. We ain't done. <laughs> they Holy saw God. your face in the kitchen with it. We ain't done. <laughs> clink, 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 clink. Kevin, it was an old the Catholic <laughs> <laughs> We ain't done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did y'all ever go? Holy Ghost, no. Holy Ghost does oh. another hour. Oh. Kids are falling out. They laying on the ground, snotting, repenting. They getting up, wiping their tears, uh. going back to their room. So at the t- tail end, they're like, "Hey man, you know, God moved tonight. Spirit moved. We got we eighteen sorry. souls though. We, <laughs> we spirit moving. We y'all saw it. Y'all saw. It. We just so sorry we won't be able to get. It's ten thirty by the time oh. we're back there." We just sitting down. We hate the Holy Ghost. Y'all, was still, in, y'all was still in costume. In the costume. I oh, hate God. No. At best, you know, you got to follow just... the Holy Ghost. So you <laughs> got to go. Yeah, at best, you get to follow the Holy Ghost. At worst, you don't get to go. Yo, we so so we sat Did down y'all still there. get paid? No, we never were getting paid. Oh. Oh. It was exposure. We oh. knew that up front. Yeah, yeah, you didn't even get the exposure. The you you paid, didn't even we get paid that. our money you got to sit. To getting bumped. <laughs> <laughs> we got paid our money to sit in the kitchen. We ain't done. <laughs> <laughs> Came and got bumped by the Holy Ghost for three hours and never returned. Then we blew up the next year, and they were like, "Y'all want to come back?" We we're like, "Nah, no. Oh. We'll, nope. we'll get y'all down here. We still ain't got no money." You gonna stick us in the kitchen again <laughs> for the Holy Ghost? Because at least when you get paid, it don't matter. Right. You got the deposit. You ain't got to mm-hmm. go up. We just lost the money on that show. Never performed. How far did y'all travel to get to that show? Was it local? It was L.A. from t- Seattle. Jesus. So you came yeah. from Seattle to L.A. to do Fuck a show free. that you never did. <laughs> Nobody even knew we were there. We were like, we gonna stay in this room. We gonna oh. come out. They gonna be like, they gonna go crazy. Who these old men? This, this is funny because we was killing the time, <laughs> and only people saw us was the workers at the hotel. Oh, so no. why they're like, it, why y'all eating? Why y'all eating? Janitors still? coming in. You why was it worth the exposure? Was Kirk Franklin there or something? No, I mean we, we just done. we just wasn't in Washington. Anything no, like, we, we down in California. We going to L.A. We going to Hollywood, yeah, right. Los Angeles. And it was oh, damn. no exposure to be had. <laughs> we ain't done. <laughs> we, <laughs> we, we ain't done. 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 And everybody was, I mean, they was just loving God. We ain't done. Ah! We ain't done. <laughs> do, 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 we ain't done. We ain't done. We ain't done. We ain't done. <laughs> everybody sweating, passing out heart attacks, hey, wheelchairs. Like we ain't People dying. <laughs> Gurneys. <laughs> we ain't done. Yeah, y'all didn't get none of the Holy Spirit either. The Holy Spirit what? was looking at y'all uh. like, we ain't done. <laughs> y'all was like, man, look out, man. Don't come over here. <laughs> Holy Spirit. Get off me, man. I don't want to catch Try to come in. You speaking uh. the tongue. Get this out of here, man. My, y'all cut your own tongues off, man. Look out, man. We ain't speaking none of that. <laughs> we ain't done. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is, I don't think none of the people knew we were ever supposed to perform, but oh. the person. So they don't be like, oh, somebody's back yeah. there waiting. So they just like, oh. we moving on. 
Dog. They was looking at y'all like, y'all ain't feeling this. Melissa was so mad. <laughs> I was like, listen, let me go. Because when I come back, it's going to be different. Uh, came back. <laughs> like, we ain't get begin. <laughs> we was just down. <laughs> However much money we put in to go eat, oh. watch. Uh, brutal. I was just like, never again. <laughs> this is why you, I see why you get paid ahead of time. They could change their mind. Holy Ghost didn't care nothing about our dreams. Oh, drink. man. So, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> we ain't done. <laughs> Ooh. We'll see y'all next time. We usually do stories, but we also let Can't the day take us where it goes. And <laughs> that's why I be telling people I deserve the NAACP Image Award. Y'all wasn't there when I was in that closet uh. all Friday night in old man's clothes. <laughs> Put my own makeup we on. Ain't done. <laughs> yeah, click, 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 click. <laughs> Sad, like, excuse me if I could just grab the tongs here. <laughs> I felt like, so stupid for even doing the characters. I was oh, like, this yeah, is you just stupid. It. Just sitting yeah, here, man. Hot waiting. Just sitting here uh, with a dog, a uh, gray wig in your hand. I, just, I hate doing this anyway. <laughs> yeah. The oh, humility. Man. They coming oh, yeah. in. Who the fuck y'all are supposed to be? <laughs> yeah, that people will not like, say. Yeah. They just mad because they at oh, work and you in man. front of the plates. They're like, man, y'all still in here? When are y'all going? Are y'all going to go in there and like, pray with everybody else? It's it's true. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, All right, I gotta go to my son's track me for real. <laughs> we are done. We'll Ooh. see y'all next time. Peace. All right, Bye, y'all. y'all.